Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to this video where we're going to go and solve for a N good system where our preferences are Stone Gary. We're looking for our Hicksian demands in this case of cost minimization. So like usual, we're going to go and follow these four steps. We're going to set up a Lagrangian. We're going to take our first order conditions with respect to Xi and Xj. We're then going to use our first order conditions to solve for our intermediate bundle. We're then going to sub in our intermediate bundle into our utility constraint and obtain our Hicksian demands here. So step number one, we're going to go and write our Lagrangian here as follows. Notice that we're able to go and break up this product term um, of our Cobb-Douglas into these uh, three parts here where we're considering good I, good J, and we have every other good, good K, where K is not equal to I or J. Next, we're going to go and take our first order conditions down here, which are as follows. Next, we're going to go and rearrange these equations for equation one being good I and equation two being good J respectively. Uh, we're then going to proceed to divide uh, two by one and get the following results. So we'll just go and close that little bracket here. Um, so let's go and clean this up a little bit. So we're going to go and knock off our lambdas here. We're going to also knock off these giant terms. And by the properties of our exponents, we go and we get the following down here. From this equation, we're able to go and derive our intermediate bundle, which is as follows. X i hat is equal to alpha i times p j all over alpha j times p i times x j minus delta j plus delta i. Step number four is that we're going to go and take this intermediate bundle and plug it right into our utility constraint here, this being our Stone Gary sort of preferences. Plugging it in, um, we don't go and look at this delta i here because we added a delta i before and we're subtracting it away, so we just go and get the following result. We're able to go and break up this expression, pulling out all the j terms uh, here as follows, not breaking any rules of algebra and noting the fact that alpha i, the summation of all alpha i sum to one, we can go and have this clean little equation here on the next line. And from there, we're able to go and get our stone Gary, uh, I guess, Hicksian demand equations. And one thing that you guys should know is that this is exactly like our Cobb Douglas case, except we're just going and adding a additional um, subsistence expenditure term right there. So. This is how we go and we solve for our uh, Stonegarian Hicksian demands. I hope this video helps. Take care.